Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left side and just draw on the upper eyelid. So we're starting on the outside, we're going to curve up and we're going to pull that down on the inside. Now on the outside here, I just want to curve down and then in around the side of the eye. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to leave a gap in the center, line up the inside of the eye, curve up and then out. Now we're going to curve around the side of the eye, coming down and then in. Now we're going to go in and thicken up the eyelash. Starting from the outside, I'm going to taper this up and out, and then come across and just taper in towards the inside of the eyelid. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start on the inside, curve up and out, and then I'll curve down and taper down towards the bottom. Let's go in and fill the eyelash in black. Now let's go in and tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelash. So we're going to start on the left side. From this point, we're going to step in and draw a circle, just tucked in underneath, coming down towards the bottom, and then up on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right, leaving a little overlap on the inside, curve down towards the bottom, and curve up and in. On the left side of each eye, we're going to draw a small circle for highlight. So let's get started on the left side, just below the eyelid and we'll line this up on the right side. In the middle of each eye, we're going to draw a small circle for the pupil, but we're going to tuck this in underneath the highlight. So we'll start at the bottom of the highlight, curve down, around, and then in towards the side of the highlight. We're going to take that and flip it over on the right side. Now let's go ahead and fill the pupils in black. Now let's move up and draw on the eyebrow. From the corner of the eyelash, we're going to step up, curve in, and then down. Now we're going to thicken this up. So we're going to start back on the outside. We're going to go up in the middle, and then come down on the inside. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting on the inside, we're going to curve up, and then out. Go back to the inside, we're going to taper this, going up, and then back down. Now let's go in and fill the eyebrows in black. Now let's move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. So we're going to step down in the center and draw a curve from left to right, coming down and then back up. Now we're going to step up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. Directly below the nose, we're going to add the mouth. So a curve from left to right, coming down and then back up. Let's add in the upper lip. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve in and then up. We're going to round out the top of the lip and then come back down on the right side. So rounding this out coming down on the right. Let's go ahead and draw on the lower lip. Starting back on the left, we're going to curve down and back up on the right side. Now let's move up and draw on the hairline. So we're going to start just beside the left eye. We're going to curve around the eyebrow and pull it in. From here, we're going to draw a hair band coming down. So curving out and then down on top of the eyebrow. From here, we're going to curve up towards the center of the forehead. Coming up and then in. Now from here, we're going to work our way towards the right, but I want to draw a wave in the hair. So we start by curving down, aiming towards the eye, and as we get closer towards the eyebrow, we're going to curve it out. Now let's finish off the bottom of the head. We're going to start on the left side here. We're going to curve down in towards the chin, coming around the eye. Now I'm just pulling that in just below the mouth. We want to curve this up underneath the hair bang. straight up. In the middle of the forehead, I'm going to draw a straight line going up towards the top of the head. From here, we're going to curve up and around towards the side of the head. Let's go up, curving around, and then just pulling that in towards the side of the head in line with the eye. On the right, we're going to curve around and just taper towards this point. 
So we start by going up, come down the side of the head. Now at the end, we're just gonna flick this outwards. Underneath this point, I just wanna draw on the side of the hair. So we're gonna step in from the point, curve down, and then in, lined up with the left side. Let's go ahead and tuck the ears in behind the hair and the head. So from this point, we're gonna step up, curve out, round out the ear, and then pull that in. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line this up, curve out, round out the ear, and then pull that in. We're gonna add a curve on the inside. Stepping down from the top of the ear, we're gonna curve in, and then down towards the side of the cheek. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start on either side of the chin. We're gonna curve out the side of the body down towards the hip. So on the left side, we'll curve out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's connect these two points with a curve for the lower part of the belt. Going down in the middle, then back up. We're gonna take that and duplicate it up on top for the top of the belt. In the center, we're gonna leave a gap and draw two straight lines on either side for the belt buckle. Let's move back up underneath the chin and draw on the collar. So from the end of the body, we're gonna step in and we're gonna draw a small half circle going across and up on the right side. We're gonna step down and just draw a curve from left to right going up in the middle for the edge of her chest. On the side of the body, we're gonna draw two straps. From the side on the left, we're gonna step out, we're gonna curve out and then pull that in. Let's add a buckle about halfway. We're gonna draw two straight lines going across on either side. Now we're gonna to move to the side and draw on the arms. From the bottom of the strap, we're gonna curve out and then down towards the wrist. From here, we're gonna draw a small half circle for the thumb going around. At the bottom of the thumb, I'm gonna curve up towards the wrist going upwards. Now let's stack the fingers in behind the thumb. So at the bottom curve of the thumb, we're gonna come down and we're gonna go up. We're gonna step back down, draw on the second finger, coming down and then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around in behind the strap. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the bottom of the strap, curve out and then down towards the thumb. We'll draw a small half circle for the thumb. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna go down and up for the first finger. Step down again, curve the second finger. Now the third finger is gonna go all the way around and then in towards the top of the strap. Let's go in and separate out the fingers of the glove. On the first finger here, we're just gonna draw a curve going down and up. We'll do the same thing on all three fingers. Now we're gonna move up above the wrist and draw the edge of the glove. From the left side, we're gonna step up, curve up, and then out. Now on the top left arm, I just wanna add some bandages. So from the bottom of the strap, we're gonna curve up and then out. We're gonna step down and just draw that same curve. And we'll draw that one more time, just up above and behind the strap. Now from here, I'm gonna tuck the ponytail in behind the left side here. So underneath the earlobe, come down and flick it out towards the left. I'm gonna pull that back in. So tapering this line coming in. Now we're gonna work our way down towards the tip of the ponytail. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going out and then down. And I'm gonna taper this in behind the arm, going up and then in. Let's keep working our way down towards the legs. So in the center here, below the buckle, we're gonna step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up in the middle for the lower torso. On the left side, we're gonna step in, curve out, and then down towards the heel. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we're gonna curve down, and then back up on both sides. Now from the toe, I'm gonna curve up the top of the foot, aiming towards the heel, but we're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna go about halfway to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right, going up, rounding out the top of the foot and then down. Let's go back up to the hips. We're gonna curve the side of the leg. On the left side, we're gonna go out and then we're gonna pull that in. Now 
let's add some detail to the legs. We're gonna start with the sole first. We're gonna take this curve and just duplicate it right up above. And then we're gonna add a toe cap. At the top of the foot, we're gonna curve down and then in towards the top of the sole. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the edge of the shorts. Just below the lower torso, we step down, curve out, and then up on the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right. We're gonna add a strap coming from the belt towards the side of the hips. So let's start on the side of the hip right here. We're gonna curve in and then up just underneath the buckle. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Coming down and now towards the top edge of the short. We're gonna take that curve and duplicate it on the inside. So let's step up and just follow that all the way across. Now I'm going to add another strap just underneath the short. So we're going to take this curve, step down, and duplicate that. We're going to step down again and draw that same curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to move down and draw on the edge of the boot. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve down and back up on the inside of the leg. Let's add the front laces of the boot. So from the side of the leg, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down. We'll step over, draw that same length line. Now we're gonna add some laces. We're gonna intersect this, these two lines with a curve coming down and back up. And we're gonna do that twice. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Stepping in, draw a straight line. Step over, draw another line. Now we're gonna go over those two lines with the laces. Now we're gonna finish this off with a couple pouches on the side of the hip. So let's start at the bottom edge of the belt. We're gonna go straight out with a short line. And then at the bottom of the strap, we'll go straight out. Connect those two points with a curve. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. And then just close it off with another curve. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.